We first learned about the San Pedro Sailing Club through Dr. C and Dr. K. One night, they took us to the club's annual bingo fundraiser where we met Forrest, who was one of the coaches. When we ran into him again the next night back at Pedro's, he invited us to go sailing with him and the rest of the club on Easter Sunday. We graciously accepted his offer, but had absolutely no idea what was in store for us. And as you can probably guess, it turned out to be one of the most memorable days of our whole trip. The entire club, the kids, the parents, the coaches, welcomed us with open arms. It quickly became very clear that we had stumbled onto something special. That is when we realized that we had found a topic for our documentary, the San Pedro Sailing Club. Retired from owning a store in San Francisco and moved here because I like the climate and the warm water and I could finally get a chance to sail a small boat in waters that were not freezing. My name is Rene. Uh, I'm from Germany and I made a, a sailing instructor license during the study. So I decided to go somewhere nice, a nice place and do the sailing instructor. Um, I don't speak Spanish, so my first choice was Belize. It's a very nice country and uh, San Pedro turned out to be uh, the best opportunity because it has a sailing club. And this is Randy. Randy is another coach and an important part of the San Pedro Sailing Club. We met and talked with Randy on our Easter Sunday excursion, but unfortunately he was busy on the mainland when we conducted our interviews for this document. Enter the age of Aquarians, carnivores, and vegetarians. It's the next sound wave. Soon I'm at high as school to behave. El Presidente, you behave. I came down here three years ago. Uh, when I arrived on the island, I could not believe that there was hardly anyone using water here. And there was no sailing club. When they started to form the sailing club, I mean, I just said, okay, I'll help anyway I can. I was thinking that all around uh, Belize there will be sailing clubs, but it's not. So sailing is like one of the best places in the world for sailing. It's like uh, very uncommon. I've had the town elders when we were starting to say, we do think it's a great idea. This island 35 years ago, there were no motors. You paddled or you sailed. And everybody grew up having to know how because it was a fishing community. And the town elders were sad that that was going, that's gone. Uh, the kids are playing computers around the streets doing whatever. And so they said, this is great, this is part of our heritage. We want to, we want to give it back to our, our grandchildren. We want to capture it. Open your cookie, unfold the paper, stop looky looky, take an order, then march to the kitchen. Food for the masses, that's the new mission. Salam, shalom, shalom, salam. The one sound louder than a bomb. What I like about it is like the feel about the water and how you, you just go on it when you sail. I like um, friends. Yeah, it's the best part. Hey, don't quit. Hey, don't stop. Hold up, hold up. I forgot something. I like my bass loudy, loudy, louder. Different economic backgrounds, different social cultural backgrounds, we have all that. They, they just all interact and get along and got to know each other and socialize together, which they may never have been able to do if they hadn't had something like this. How they help each other when they're on the water, and we have a lot of um, gringo kids and a lot of local kids, so that's one of the most amazing things for me. Best benefits they can have, even if they don't think about it, that they can close the gap between the gringos and the locals. This is happening here. You already see that. When a, when a uh, local jumps in the water to help out of the boat, jumps in the water to help a 
another girl, a gringo girl, who bailed out her boat. And she capsized in strong wind and she lost her mainsail. That was impressive. Everybody, let's move. Oh, yes. Was that sailing uh, tends to give kids uh, critical thinking skills that are more advanced than they would have been otherwise. They have uh, an excellent sense of, of, of uh, place, movement, relative movement, all kinds of things that, that uh, go on cognitively uh, that, that help uh, kids in school. Their grades tend to improve, their behavior tends to, tends to uh, get better, not that it was bad, but uh, you know, and um, there are all kinds of maturation advantages that studies have shown people who start sailing at a young age. Uh, uh, that, that it, that my name is Tammy Peterson and this is my daughter Faith and we have lived here for going on eight years. We're from Colorado and we came on vacation and pretty much never went. Have you seen any changes in her since she started working with Sailing Club? She's much more of a leader. She has learned um, what I have seen with the kids, myself and another mom. Um, we've been involved since the very beginning. And what I have seen is the the ability for the kids to interact amongst me, female and male, um, and it not being a, such a boy girl thing, team thing. And they they've done very well. I mean, we go to regattas and they pretty much dominate anywhere we go. And I'm proud of them. There are many benefits for kids in learning to sail, including the fact that it teaches them an appreciation of nature. They learn how to read and interact with nature, and they learn to rely on and cultivate their common sense. There are also specific skills to master, such as how to calculate distance, how to read the weather, how a sailboat works, and how to identify landmarks and sea life. Sailing also teaches self-confidence and awareness of learning through mistakes. The best part about this learning process is that it is so natural, they hardly realize they are learning at all. To kids, it just seems like a fun day on the water. Also, as youth sailors gain more experience and start moving around the boat, they start getting more aerobic exercise, making their body stronger and sailing easier, usually without even knowing it. On the first regatta we ever put them in, uh, the first national championship of Belize, uh, the next uh, St. George's Key regatta, an historic regatta, and um, the top seven out of ten places in the last national regatta, including the national champion, who's all of 11 years old. Oh, you're going to water.